Hi friends. So today. That's not the light, Mom. Okay, now perfect. Can, can we you wait one second or you want me to do it right now? Yeah. We demanded a girl. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby Iowa. What are you doing? That's that's itty bitty, mom. What is? Itty bitty. That's itty bitty, yeah. Itty bitty Isla. Yeah. And that's like a tea, and that's like a that. Hi friends, um, so today I have the first video for our declutter, or sorry, um, the first video for our 40 bags in 40 days uh, decluttering challenge. Uh, I focused on the basement for this first week. Um, I've kind of divided the house up into, um, I've divided the house up uh, different areas for different weeks. So we're just gonna kind of work our way through. Uh, so like I said, the first week was the basement. Uh, it was kind of a big tackle. It wasn't too bad. It took me about two days to really get through it. And I think we came out with seven, um, bags slash items in total. Um, it was a little overwhelming at first, but I just had to keep reminding myself little bits, little bits. And, um, it's a process. Uh, for me, it has been probably a good year of accumulating things and not decluttering honestly decluttering is not something that I am uh, I've ever really done a lot of so it's a new mindset for me to get into the habit and process of decluttering and getting rid of things So our host for the 40 bags in 40 days uh, challenge is Sarah over at the Silver Lining. We also have a few other lovely ladies that are participating. I'm going to link their video, uh, their channel, sorry, in the description box below. It is not a uh, group playlist, but you can definitely go and check on them. They will have playlists running for all of their declutter challenge videos that they will be doing over the next 40 days. And I hope that you will check them out, please. I know they're all working hard to uh, clean and clear and declutter their homes uh, and just kind of make things feel a little bit nicer. I definitely notice a difference in the areas that have been decluttered, just um, how much lighter it feels in those spaces. So again, I'm so looking forward to just getting this challenge over with uh, so that the home can, the house can just feel, you know, I don't want to say emptier, but it'll be emptier, but in a good way. <laughs> so uh, thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed. Out here basically um, for this family room that's down here. It is a lovely disaster. It's actually not that bad. It's bad, but it's not bad. Um, stuff that can go. Things that we need to declutter and clean and this whole room needs a massive clean, like the carpets need to be done. Um, they vacuumed it this week. They cleaned it this week, apparently, but it has not been cleaned. Like, let's go. Oh, I hate you. I love you. I'm not sure what's back there, but it looks like stuff. Spirits upside down. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get this room cleaned up. Organized, decluttered. 
All right, so my goal for the basement, um, it took us two days to get this done. And my goal was to clear out as much as possible. And uh, we weren't really so much focused on the cleaning, like, you know, the walls and like deep cleaning the carpets as we were just getting everything out of the basement, getting all of the clutter thrown out and uh, reorganizing the space that we had down there. It has been a while since it got a really nice, good, deep clean. Man, these kids are messy. Look at these carpets. I don't even know what's... I think the carpet looks like destroyed. Food down here. The carpet looks destroyed. Charlie's tank needs water. Cleaning with children always takes a little bit longer, but I do think it's worth having them help. It shows them, um, first off, how to do it, and second of all, it's good to work as a team, and uh, we all, you know, live here together, and so it's good to help take care of our home together. We are kind of in a state of survival mode at the moment, so things are, you know, not as clean as I would like them to be, or as clean as they have been in the past. Uh, so this has been a fun challenge so far to try and get things back to normal. In the coming weeks, I will be deep cleaning the carpets, the walls, getting everything put back to right. This has to go in the other room. And there's the bassinet piece to Isla's stroller that I like rarely use. Um, look at all the stuff, look at, hold on. Look at all the goodies I found back here. Not dust. Oh, I did find a baby toy though. That will have to get washed. But do I want to know what's back here? Not really. Baby truck toy that might be able to get cleaned out. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for this. This tells me a child stole it. This has to get washed, but that's the toy for Isla. I've been looking everywhere for this. Maddie, go wash this for me. Hey, can you go wash that for me? So far, I have this whole bag of mostly just junk. Broken pieces, broken things. I had found a really great deal on a trampoline, so I decided to finally get one for the kids for the basement. And so far they are have been loving it. Uh, they use it frequently and it's a good way to burn off some extra energy, especially when we're in the middle of winter. It is cold here and we don't get out as much as we would like to or as much as we do in the summertime. And in the summer, we can always take this apart and put it outside um, if we want, but I think for now, it'll just stay in the basement and everybody had fun putting it together. I will say I've got some awesome little helpers here. Everybody takes turns, um, you know, holding the baby so I can help and helping me out. So that's always nice. So I mentioned at some point in the video um, a couple boxes of clothing that I was going to deal with at another point in time and I just decided um, after all this to go ahead and just declutter it. I knew I had tons more stuff upstairs and it just wasn't worth holding on to all that extra stuff. I just want to get rid of it. Um, postpartum can be a difficult time for anybody, uh, especially when you have extra a bunch of kids and you have a baby who um, maybe needs a little bit more care and attention. Um, this postpartum has been a little bit more difficult than the others just with eyeless diagnosis. Um, but I have to remind myself uh, or give myself grace and uh, I want to remind you to give yourself grace as well. It's okay um, to work through things slowly. It can be overwhelming and when you see a big pile or big mess just start Start small, one day at a time, and you will get through it. Okay, so I'm on day two of the basement as of, um, hold on, let's see. We managed to get the trampoline put together. Um, so 
Basically, I have a we we got came up with a small little bit of stuff that needs to go find another home. Um, this is getting decluttered. That inside is getting decluttered as well. This little like I don't think you can see it probably, but it was like a little stand. Some of the baskets have been broken over the last over the last year or so. So I'm just gonna be getting rid of it. Um, I have a big, huge garbage bag full of stuff that is just going to the garbage. Uh, underneath is some recycling and in that box, I think there's like two things for donation. Honestly, it's been probably a year and a half since we've decluttered in this basement. And oh my goodness. Um, I just chose to toss a lot of stuff as opposed to donate because a lot of it was just not, you know, missing pieces, not in donatable condition. Um, I tried to declutter this, but they don't want to get rid of it yet. <laughs> so I even tried to declutter this and again, they don't want to get rid of it. So my biggest challenge is definitely clothing. I am a clothing hoarder. I'm always worried about, you know, not being able to get it when the kids need it. What if they outgrow and they need something the next size up and I can't oh. afford it? Um, and that is a mindset I need to move away from. It's a mindset from years of struggling and we are no longer in that season. So I need to just, you know, be okay with it. This here is baby boy clothes and the box underneath is like 10 12 clothes so i need to go through all that stuff and decide what i'm going to do with it i have the urge to keep this stuff but at the same time i have the urge to get rid of it like i don't need it i don't plan to need it um anytime soon <laughs> now this stuff underneath all the 10 12 stuff that's underneath um, that'll be for another day, another video, but a lot of that stuff is, some of it is going to be saved for my seven-year-old, uh, we'll, we'll see. I will also say it's very easy for things to pile up and accumulate, especially when you have kids and they're getting lots of toys and um, gifts for Christmas and birthdays. Everything just piles up very quickly sometimes and I... Uh, I'm going to try to make sure from now on that we are decluttering regularly when things come in. Things need to go out uh, to kind of replace what's coming in so that we're not accumulating huge piles of toys. I do did find a ton of toys that were broken and missing pieces and just taking up space. So we got rid of all of that stuff and it just feels so much better. The basement feels so much better and I'm so happy that I decided to just you know get rid of the things that we did and we can start fresh and the kids love their trampoline I think I mentioned that already but it's been a nice energy burner for them and helped me out and giving them somewhere to go and just hang out so I think I got four bags in total uh, there's a large two-ish large I'll just count it as one so one two uh, three four this bag is huge it could be five uh, and then I even have some stuff over there that has got to go. I'm going to do clothing in another video though. So for week one, we did the basement and I am satisfied with five bags. That's awesome. Uh, and that's only this side of the basement. I'm not sure if I'm going to tackle the other side of the basement. It is a huge project and I just don't think I can do it alone. I'm pretty sure that's something that my husband is going to have to help with because, um, Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the laundry room, the storage room. Um, his workshop is there slash storage room. Um, we have a fridge and a freezer over there. So there's just a lot going on on that side. Uh, but yeah, so I am definitely happy with that. I do have one more box just from the trampoline to throw into uh, recycling. But otherwise, like I said, really satisfied with what I did. Um, very... Um, it's nice to get rid of a lot of stuff. It's nice to clear up space. Uh, this was just a very small project to tackle. The big ones are going to be when we get upstairs. Um, next, I will be tackling the kitchen and then the dining room. And I will probably be saving all the food for the end. We're going to work our way up so, and work our way through the house. So kitchen's next, dining room, living room, and then upstairs. So
So I hope you'll join me for the rest of my um, decluttering journey oh, wow. and my oh, 40 wow. bags. It's my 40 bags in 40 days. I'm very sorry for the noise. It's always noisy here and that's okay. I love it. Mommy. It's kind of dark down here for some reason. Yeah. I must be missing a light bulb. Oh, I am. Look at that. Missing a light bulb. Okay, so the kitchen is leaving. The slide is not, but it's going to find a new home. I've got one giant bag, one small bag. That um, mop bucket is leaving. I have a new one. Uh, there's some recycling there. In that back corner, we have clothing to go. So that's another, like, probably two bags right there. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this is going six. And there's something inside of it. And then this little box up here is to go upstairs. The pieces, there's like random things in there that have homes elsewhere. I'm okay. There we go. Zoom in. So one, two, three, four, five. I'd say six. We could even count it as seven. Either way. I'm okay. We're working our way through our 40 bags in 40 days. Thanks for joining me.